What is going on guys, it's me Will, and I'm bringing you this instructional video on how to set up and use your Android box that you have purchased. So, uh, I'll get straight to the point. This is your box, this is how it comes. It's very simple. Um, only thing you're really gonna need here is two AAA batteries for the remote control, and that's it. Everything else comes included. So of course, here is your box. We'll get to that in a second. Up underneath, if you lift this up, you've got your packaging which includes power cord, your HDMI cable to hook to your flat screen TV, and the remote we just discussed, which will take the two AAA batteries in the back. Okay, so now for, for demonstration purposes, I've already got some of this stuff unboxed, so I'm just gonna give you the breakdown of this, um, and then we'll plug up a box and show you how, how to navigate and use it. So when you take it out, very simple packaging, you got your USBs over there if you wanna plug up a mouse or keyboard or you know a USB flash drive, but the hookups are back here. So very simple, when my finger is here, you've got your power cord, which plugs into your wall, your surge protector, you got your HDMI cable, goes to your TV. Now, if your modem for your internet, because this is, does require internet, if your modem is right near the box, you can use an ethernet cable to plug this up directly to the box, or you can use Wi-Fi. Ethernet is always faster, it's always the better connection. So if you can use this, use it. If not, use Wi-Fi, it's fine. So we'll move all that out the way. This is your ethernet cable, and this is how it looks. Very simple, to the point. Uh, looks like a giant phone cord comes from your modem or your router. So I've got a box here I'm gonna grab and plug up. It has the exact same software on it, but this one's already set up, so we'll get straight to the point. As you can see, I've got my HDMI already right here, and I got my power cord here, and I have my remote control here. So I'm gonna plug this up real simple into the back of the box. And I'm gonna plug up some power. You will see the word boot appear on the front of the box. And you'll see it booting up on the screen. That's what you'll see when it's hooked up to your TV. So it goes through like a little animated boot phase on this box. Uh, the other one has one similar to this one. Different boxes have different videos. And so that's it. Two plugs, power and your HDMI to your television. And of course we control everything with the remote. Remote's very simple. Up, down, left, right to navigate. Okay, it's like your enter button. This will take you back if you need to go back a screen. We'll use that a lot in this video. And this one, if something if it freezes or sticks, you just press this to go home. Now on your screen, you'll see this is how your box will appear. Now you'll notice up in the corner, the time is incorrect. It's not seven o'clock. Right now it's about 2.45. So the reason why this time is wrong is because it's not connected to the internet. And I'll show you some settings when you go to set this up. So you've plugged it up to your TV, this is the screen you come to. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is get this box online on the internet. Now again, if you're using the ethernet cable like this, you simply plug it in to the back of the box and you're, and you're connected. Now we don't need to show you that because we're gonna do it on Wi-Fi. So what you would do is take your remote, go over here to settings. Okay, when you hit your okay button, now you come to this screen. You're gonna to go to network. When you go to network, you're going to go to Wi-Fi and hit OK. Hit OK on your remote. So as you hit OK, you got your network set up. Now, this one is my personal network in my house, so I will click that one. And actually, we'll go back because I think the other one's already saved in here, so I don't have to show y'all my Wi-Fi password. But, oh, nope, it's got to make me put it in. So... What we're gonna do is throw this in here and I won't show you guys the password. We'll look at the lovely box so you guys don't steal my Wi-Fi. All right, so I've got the password in. And as you enter the password and hit your green button over there, it's gonna show you, it's gonna take a second There it is, connected successfully. Okay, now you'll see that that now says connected and this is where we start using that back button. So we hit your back button, brings you back a screen, you hit back again, it brings you back to this screen and you hit back one more time and it brings you back to the home screen. Now we notice something different up here. Notice here you got your Wi-Fi icon, this tells you that you're connected to the internet and you now notice the time is right, it's 246. 
And it also says that on the front of your box in military time. But we're connected. So now we get to the part that matters. We simply have your two apps here, which are going to be your KS hosting for your live TV and your Morpheus TV for your movie. So I'll first demonstrate Morpheus. Very easy to use. You simply click on this icon with the director's thing. You hit OK. This pops up on the screen as such. And you got two categories, movies, TV shows. Don't worry about the settings or downloads. All that stuff has been pre-configured for you. You don't have to touch that. If you want to watch a movie, you simply go to movies. And you got three categories, trending, popular, and search. Trending is going to show you the latest movies that are out that are trending. Popular is based on voting. It's based on whatever the most popular movies people think are. So this will vary. And search, of course, you can type in any movie you're looking for. But I'll demonstrate just trending because either in either one of these categories, when you find the movie, it's all the same process to watch it. Super easy. So you go to trending. And as we see, the latest movies pop up. So there's Captain Marvel, Avengers Endgame, Aladdin, John Wick 3, all type of stuff. It'll be Dark Phoenix. But we'll just start with Captain Marvel because it's the first one on the list. So you literally hit OK on your remote. As you select the movie, it searches, and you see this little bar at the top, the little circle up there that, that has the red is filling up. As it finds more links, that circle will fill in. When it finishes finding them, that circle will go away. So what will happen is that you see it's that circle is starting to gradually fill up. So basically what we do here is we let this fill up, but we don't have to wait on that. You can, I'm just gonna click it for demonstration purposes. Now you got three things on the connection here. You've got yellow, red, and green on the connection. Yellow's intermittent, it works okay. Green is the best connection, and of course red is bad. Now in this particular one, it's one connection. It's a HD copy from a Blu-ray rip, so that means it's HD. And that yellow connection is the, to that number right here, and I'll zoom in on that. That number represents, the higher that number, the, the worse the connection. So 2600 is not bad, it'll play. So when we click OK here on the remote, it says starting playback. And you'll notice a little loading up there in the corner. If you give that a couple seconds, the movie will actually load up. And then once it loads up, it just starts playing. And then we let it run from there. So... Actually, I started watching this, so it went to the middle of a scene, but there you are. Control it. Then control again, and you'll have to convene with the supreme intelligence. Turn my TV up, but yes. So as you can see, it works. Just that simple. Humor is a distraction. So we'll stop this. You can hit OK on the remote control. If you hit OK here, you get your menu, you got pause, stop, fast forward, rewind. We're just going to stop it because we don't need to go through this movie. Um, same thing will apply for TV shows. So we go, we're hitting the back button on the remote here. And we go back to TV shows. Same thing. You got trending and popular and search. Don't worry about the My TV shows, but just go to trending. All your latest shows come up. Game of Thrones. Designated Survivor, which I actually happen to like, so we'll click on that. So we click Designated Survivor. It's three seasons. The new season just came out like last week or this week. So we click on that, and there's your season. If you hit the first episode, you get the same circle that I was describing to you. Same thing for TV shows. Um, what we do here is that we let it run. And as more links come up and become available, you'll see them up at the top. So there you go. So you'll notice here, you got that circle up here at the top that I was pointing out that's filling up. And so you see how these different links are coming up now? Now what you can do up there at the top, and I'll zoom in on that, you see those, see those three lines beside select source? You can use your remote to go up there and click OK. If you click it again, twice, if you do it twice, you see how it's got the different resolutions. You got 1080p, HD, SD, and unknown. Now, it's still searching. So that number that's on the right over here, that represents the number of results that it's found. So right now, there's nine HD copies, one 1080 copy, and the circle is still filling up, as you can see, at the top up there. 
Very simple. You just wait it out, let the links load up. And then you, like I said, you don't have to wait until the circle fills up. If you, you find the link that you want to play, you can just click the button and it plays. Now, this show happens to come on Netflix, which proves in this box that you can get shows that come on Netflix without having Netflix. So this is a Netflix only show. So if you go to HD, you got 10 links. And this talks about the three colors I was mentioning earlier. So you notice how there's a couple of links in here that are green. There's one that's in red and there's several that are in yellow. We can go to any one of these. It doesn't matter. But just for sake of argument, we'll go to the green one. And that number is extremely low, as you can see. It's only 800 something. So that's a low number. That's why it's green. You click this. And of course, starting playback like we saw before. And there it is. Comes right up and plays. Just that simple. So I'll stop this. And this is where you can either hit back a bunch of times or we can hit the home button. Now, if you hit the home button, it brings you back to your main screen on the box. Now you got this clear memory button. You can use that if you, you know, if you come out of an app unexpectedly, hit that button and you notice that number drops down some. Now you're ready to go to the next app, which is gonna be the live TV. Now, when you sign up for the live TV app, you will open this app up and it'll ask you to sign in. Now I'm already signed in, so I'm gonna sign out to demonstrate how this works. So I'm already signed in, but what, what's supposed to happen is that, and I'll show you, Okay, so when you come to the app and you first open it up, this is what you're gonna see. Now, if you've already signed up through the website, you'll receive an email with a login. Mine is already logged in. As you can see, it's already typed in. Once you type this in, you go down, you hit login, and it comes up to this screen. This is what you will see every time you open up the app. Now, you click on live TV, and what it does every day, just does this once every 24 hours, it downloads your list of channels, your list of movies and series, and it also downloads a TV guide. And I'll cover both the ways to view this. So there's two ways to view your live TV. One with the TV guide, like a cable box style, and then the original style, which I actually prefer. So I'll show you both. Right now we're looking at the original style, and that's the main button that we clicked on. So right now you'll see this comes up and you got all your channels. Now, if you're like me and you signed up for the adult package, you will have an adult category in here which is right there. It has 35 channels of adult content. If you don't want the adult content and you didn't sign up for it, you won't see that. But we'll start at the, the simple places. So entertainment. If I click this button, hit OK, it shows you the list of channels and the list of shows that are coming on. So there we got First 48. And it's telling you on the right from 3 to 4 o'clock is First 48. And then when it comes back on again at five from 4 to 5. If you go down to the next channel, it shows you what's coming on there. So Ellen's on. You go down, that's another AMC, Bridge of Surprise. So these are all your network shows, network channels, BT, TBS, CBS, etc. As you can see, there's over 100 channels of browsing. Very simple. Um, we will do a, we'll just go to one of these random channels. I don't know, it doesn't matter. We'll do Home Shopping Network. Uh, we'll do... Uh, we'll do Hallmark Channel. We'll do something. Let's do History Channel. Okay. So we'll go to American Pickers. You hit this button one time, hit OK, and there it is. Now, when you want to go full screen, you hit OK again on your remote, and it goes to full screen. And that's it. Now, when you're ready to switch channels, you hit your back button on the remote up here. When you hit the back button, it goes back. You hit, and you can got your list of channels to look through. You hit back again, and it brings you back to your list of channels. So you want to go, say you want to go to the movie channels. You want to watch HBO or Stars or Cinemax. Now you see, here's the movie American Made, Tom Cruise. That's on, that's on Cinemax. So you got different channels here, as you can see, the different Cinemaxes, HBO, Reign of Fires on HBO. So you click that, give it a couple seconds. And it loads up. Um, you've got multiple channels, as you can see here as well. All the HBOs, Lifetime, Stars, Showtime, 
So yeah, you get the idea. And it's, I say I want to go to stars. Boom. Whatever this movie Moonrise Kingdom is, you click this, it's full screen. High def. Super simple. Super easy. Same thing with um, your sporting events. If you want to go watch ESPN, you go to sports. And here's your stations. Big 10, ESPN. Um, ESPN HD. There it is right there. So, that's it. It's just that simple. Now, this does include the NFL and NBA package. Um, of course, right now, NFL is not on. But if you go to NFL on an NFL Sunday, you will see all these channels. The NFL Network is on. But all this game pass, there's, there's games, there's nothing there. But it would show you normally what game is on at what time. Right now, it doesn't show that because there's nothing on. But one cool thing, and I'll cover this, and we'll be wrapped up here on the video. Um, this has a section called 24-7 channels. This is crazy. You go here, and it's got 137 different channels, 24-7 episodes with no commercials, no interruptions of certain shows. And so there's 137 different shows that come on this 24-7 channel. So you got Three Stooges. As you can scroll through here, you hold down your button. You got Criminal Minds. You got Disney movies, Family Guy, Friends. I mean, even HBO, Inspector Gadget, which I absolutely love. They got 24-7 Martin. There it is, Inspector Gadget. We killed this show growing up. We got Martin here. This is uninterrupted, by the way. So this is absolutely dope. I love it. Um, you got Paw Patrol, Peppa Pig for the kids. Power, if you're missing that. Scooby-Doo, Smurfs. Oh, man, all type of stuff. So um, Beverly Hillbillies. Fresh Prince, all type of stuff. Cosby Show. So, yeah, you click Fresh Prince, and again, you hit OK. Hit OK again, you're back in full screen. Just that simple. It's a crazy program. Live TV is, is, is nice. And one more thing I'll show you guys, and then we're going to wrap it up here. Um, if you go to, you have a music section. These also have channels in other languages. So, you know, if you... Like watch African TV or you know TV in India, which you know Bollywood movies stuff like that. Now that's there, but we'll go up to music because they have a music section. I can find it and see uh, U.S. music. Here we go. Seventeen channels of music. It's got videos, so this is pretty dope. So like if you go to hip hop R&B, you got a um, see. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, you got rap, and you got rap 2000. So this is pretty good. You, you know, you got people who always want to pump some music on. This works. So it's got all different kind of genres. I like this song actually. So yeah, you still can full screen that, and there you go. If you got people over, you want to throw some music on, comes right on like this with the videos. It's pretty cool function too. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, this box is well worth the money. I haven't been to the movies in months because pretty much everything that comes out is on the box. And if it's not on there immediately, that box, this box updates itself. So if you go in that movie section on the movies app, on the Morpheus app, and you notice that there's a movie not there, it may be there. And if it is there and their copies aren't, you know, crystal clear because it's still in the theater, you know, they will get better over time. And you literally can come in there one day and there's, a, you know, a, a not so good copy. You come back the next day and it's an HD copy. Now, one last thing I'll show you before we go, because I was telling you about the guide. I went to live TV, and that's what you guys were just looking at. If you go to live TV with EPG, it's literally the same thing, except instead of your view being like it was, you go to entertainment, for instance, and it shows you the traditional guide like a cable box. So I, some people prefer this view. I don't. I just think it's a little cumbersome, but you can try it. As you can see, the orange line is showing you what time it currently is. And so you can move your orange cursor over, but the orange line shows you exactly what's on TV right at this moment. So as you can see, this is another way to view it. it to me, it make, it's harder to do it this way because there's less channels being shown. But some people prefer this because they're used to using cable boxes. So whatever works for you, you can try it this way. Like we go to Bravo, Top Chef is on. If I hit this button, we go to Top Chef. Like Boom. To Just like that. And you still hit your back button. Hit your back button again to go back. This is all super simple, guys. 
Everyone can use this because it's super simple to navigate. Don't worry about the movies and series. This stuff is blank or the recordings or catch up. The only thing you worry about in this window is live TV and live with EPG if you prefer that guide view. That's it. And so we'll go back to the main. When you hit back on this screen, it'll ask you do you want to exit. It says press again to exit. You press it again, and it goes back to your main screen. And that's it. So between those two apps, you literally have access to every TV show and movie and virtually every live TV channel. Now, I know a lot of people ask the question, but can I get my local stations like News 2 or Fox 8 or whatever? This, this live TV app does not get local channels, but the solution to that is super easy. You can go to Walmart, you can go to Target, Best Buy, you can buy an HD antenna that's screwing to the back of your TV. They're really small now, they mount on your wall. They're like anywhere between 12 and 20 bucks. You buy one of those, you get all your local stations free. You just have to buy the antenna. But this gets you every other channel. We're talking all your sports channels, all your sports packages, all your movie channels, all your network stations without paying the high price for cable. So that's the whole point of this. So this is it. And so if there's any other questions, you guys, shoot me a comment. Or, you know, if you bought this for me, of course, you know how to reach me. You can inbox me, call me, etc. Have a good one.